What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. This is the brand new premium plant, the Witch Hazel. It costs 200. Witch Hazels use magical sorcery to transform zombies into puff shrooms. Special prefers to target wizard zombies. Witch Hazel paused, unsure how to proceed, then all at once she knew. Use magic like all the time. So this is really, really intriguing because I've never thought to have a premium plant or any plant do something like this, turn zombies into a plant. That's such a cool concept. Uh, we're gonna see how it works. Um, now, she transforms zombies into puff shrooms. Uh, I hear that the super t transforms them into like toadstools, the, you know, the, the special plant food version of that. Uh, so, let's see how this plant works, you know, throughout some of these stages here. Uh, this is part of the brand new Lawn of Doom event. I hear that several different premium plants our back, I have a quest complete, I guess from last time, uh, including the Ghost Pepper and the Jack-O-Lantern, and you know, Plants vs. Zombies has done really, really well with the Halloween season with their Lawn of Doom events, and uh, they've this is like the third year or so that they've done it in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Well, guess what, guys? Plants vs. Zombies Heroes has now been released worldwide. I'll have a video of that today. We're gonna do the uh, pinata party really quick. Uh, we're, I have a video of that today. Also, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 has a lot of Doom event. Look at the pumpkins. Oh, wow. So, yeah. It's just crazy. I can't believe how crazy it is. <laughs> Alright, that's good. That's good. So, yeah. We have uh, some very, very exciting things coming up. I think, at least. I don't know what the walnut's for. I don't know. Oh, jeez. This is, this is something here. Oh boy, yeah, these guys are really coming in. I don't really know how to handle them. Uh, here, I'm just gonna put him there, put him there. Don't let him play anymore. These guys are really going. Here we go. Oh jeez, he's gonna blow up a little bit. Oh jeez, here we go. He's causing a big, big mess. Holy moly, this is getting crazy, isn't it? The final wave is starting, though. So this is kind of exciting, right? I think so. I'd rather him not knight all of these zombies, but that's okay. Here we go. I'm gonna have to get rid of that corn because the, uh, the jester zombie's here. Um, here we go, go ahead and take him out really quick, take him out. I'm doing pretty good at, you know, locating these guys in the right spots, I believe. It's been a fun round, right? I would like to pretend so. All right, no, not pretend, I mean, I would like to think so. But that sounded really, that came out totally wrong. But anyway, yes, so I'm excited to showcase the, um, you know, of course, the, uh, uh, the Witch Hazel, but we had to get that pinata party out of the way. I guess that was my second in a row. Let's whack, it o whack open these weirdo pinatas. Five gems, that's pretty good. Now, so yes, a brand new Plants vs. Zombies Heroes video today. Worldwide release, and also Garden Warfare 2 has a lot of doom with like the sleepy bat. You guys are going to want to check that out. We have so much content today. It is crazy. It's insane. Let's now go into... Uh, some of my preferred levels for showcasing, um, you know, we'll, we'll try to keep this relatively short because I do have a lot of videos to put out today, uh, but I do want to give the Witch Hazel its fair share of airtime here. We're going to take it, we always take it to Ancient Egypt just to see what it's like. And, um, you know, I don't know how well these are going to do in mass, but we have a perfect pirate uh, seas level to test that, that part out on. Uh, but, you know, I like doing it here because uh, you know, it's just a really simple level. You can't have any more than 15 plants. And one thing I want to test about the Witch Hazel is since it turns zombies into plants, how does that affect everything? So let's go ahead. I, I like, I much prefer the Primal Sunflower. Um, and then where's the Witch Hazel? There it is. I'm going to go ahead and do, and imitate it because, um, you know, I'm going to want to make sure. Let's see, imitator. Where's the imitator? There it is. Plant food as well. And then, oh, I don't know. Um... You know, I don't want to mess up too much. Now, the thing is, is that if we just rely on that, it's going to have to be, you know, things are going to have to be attacked. Uh, let's go ahead and, hmm. 
Let's do this and this. I know this is kind of a weird combination of items, but I think this could be good. And uh, I'm curious if it will. Will, will it transform anything at all? Uh, if, um, you know, there already are, you know, enough plants out there. I don't know. Oh, I did not. Why imitate the wrong thing? Holy moly. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Witch Hazel's out. Let's see how this works. So far, she hasn't done anything. Does it, does it have to be on the same row? I don't know what the rules are, so maybe. Maybe I messed up a little bit. Here we go. We're going to use that to kick him back a little bit. This should be really... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so now we have a mushroom there. Intriguing, huh? I would definitely say so. Now, the Witch Hazel takes a while to recharge. So we're going to have to just keep it up with the... Uh... There we go. Nice. So I'm curious what's going to happen. I really am, because... Now, here's the question. And if we lose this, it's fine. We'll just move on to the next thing super quick. What I want to see is what is the Witch Hazel going to do? Is it going to keep transforming things or what? And I don't know the answer to that, so let's find out. All right, one left. Let's put one down here. All right. So uh, this is going to be real, really the test here. I, I know that we have a lot, but... I want to see what happens, you know? Can it can it transform the sarcophagus? Whoa, it just destroyed it. Interesting choice. That one just destroyed it too. Again, very interesting. Not sure what to make of that. Here we go. We got some uh, plant food there. Let's put down another one. All right, zero left. Let's see what happens if I use this. Okay, still zero left. Okay, I think it just took it out. I think it's not going to make an extra one. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be fine. So, no, it's just it's just killing him. It's not turning him in, into mushrooms or anything. It's just flat out killing them now. Because I think it, it knows that it's not going to go you know, past our amount. Now, this is a little bit scary, but let's go ahead and do this. So yeah, when it can't play them, so that's interesting. Since there is a is a hard limit on the number of plants I'm allowed to have this time around, it's actually not uh, transforming them into those plants. So it, the the game is smart enough to know to not do that. So that's really intriguing. All right, so let's see what happens here. Just dig this up because we are kind of going for uh, you know. Here we go. Let's do this. Blow it all up. All right, look at this. Now let's see how this is handled. Well, I just destroyed the sarcophagus zombie. I love that. Okay, so this is a really interesting thing. It's almost like, you know, it's almost like a bomb that keeps going off but only targets one zombie because of that, you know? And this could be a really big game changer on a stage, you know, like the Dark Ages where, uh, you know, it prefers the wizards so we'll see how it works. You know what? I don't need any more sunflowers, so I'm going to blow some more stuff up. I also don't need any mushrooms, so... There we go. Beautiful. Alright, now they're kind of getting in at the top there, which I don't like. So, I mean, they're they're pushing in pretty, pretty good. And uh, th that's kind of the thing is I, I don't really know how to handle this at the moment because they take forever to recharge. It's kind of the thing. They do take a long, long time to recharge, which is one reason I was really trying to imitate them. So we'll see what happens. Um, we will try out the Pirate Sea stage that I like to do. And I like to do the stage simply because I like to see how the plant works when it's grouped up in mass 
against a large number of zombies. So um, it may not work out for us in this particular case, but I, you know, I, I want to try, I want to see for myself if that's going to be true. So here we go. Boom. Take him out. All right. I don't know that my victory really relied on the witch hazel there, but the witch hazel is such a unique plant that I would definitely, you know, recommend having it because it's just so fun to play with. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what I'm doing with these episodes. I like to play with them, see how they how they turn out. So, again, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes now has a worldwide launch. Go download it. It's free to play. And, uh, you know, I have a video of the all the latest updates today. So, go check it out. And now, um, what I'm going to do is uh, go to the Pirate Sea stage really quick. Do that stage that I like to do. See where we end up, you know, by the end of it. I predict, you know, I will be stunned if the Witch Hazel holds it holds its own on a stage like this. Really, the thing that that's preventing the Witch Hazel from being played in mass is the fact that uh, you know it takes so long to recharge. So, I will be astounded if once you actually have them in mass, if it really really works how you want it to. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Here we go. Witch Hazel coming up. I'm just gonna put put it in, and then I'm just gonna throw in a bunch of other things that I know I don't really need. Let's rock with it. We're only going to put Witch Hazels out. That's my goal. Here we go. And it seems like their range is pretty good. So one thing that's interesting is it seems to me... And I could be wrong, but it seems that they're way more effective. You know, they have like several different rows that they can be played off of. Let's try this. Let's rock. Here we go. Now, I don't know if they can even attack cannons from this long range. I don't know. Jeez, they all wasted it at once, attacking just one little imp. That's crazy. That's not what I want to see happen. Oh boy, so yeah, I'm gonna be even more surprised now if they manage to pull through. That was, that was just... Man, they all just use it on the same one. They should really talk to each other and coordinate this. So they use it on those swinging guys, but those swinging guys... I mean, man. I, I would sum this up as wasted opportunity. They all target the same ones. Huh. Alright, let's fast forward a little bit. I just know that this isn't going to go well. Yeah. In fact, I kind of want to redo it already. Hold on, let's restart. I'm going to do an even amount. I'm going to push them farther back. Man, oh man. Okay. Let's try one more time. Again, I don't, I, I don't really expect different results here, but let's just try it. Here we go. Let's rock. Goodness, man. All right. Here we go again. All right, that's it. Let's rock with this. It's just so weird, man. It's so weird that they all attack at the same time. I mean, what do I do? Like, look, now he's just there. He's able to move on. At least they were able to turn one into a mushroom. There we go. Whoa, where did all those other mushrooms come from? So weird. Okay, come on now. Come on now. Please hurry. Thank you. More mushrooms. That's cool. Uh-oh. Bad news. Bad news. And they are going to cut through really quick. Let's see how they hold up. Here we go. Now these mushrooms do kind of stall. I, I do like that about them. This is interesting. Uh, maybe it'll work. I'm still guessing no. Like when something like this happens, it's going to be very dire. Very quick. You better hurry. Man. I feel like they just kind of, they go too fast. They attack too fast. 
It's like they're about to be overrun at any time. Now, well, now we have a lot of mushrooms here. But they're doing a, oh my god. See, they're doing such a phenomenal job of just tearing through. All right, so I was right the first time. There's no way, there's no way. All right, let's just exit, let's just exit. I, I, I showcase that level with these plants in mass every time. Again, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes is out. They're really pushing it hard, and they should because it's a great game. And uh, I showcase all the new stuff today, so don't worry about it. If you guys haven't seen it, go see it. Go check it out. Um, now, you know, I, I think I would be it would be a real shame to not showcase that plant in the Dark Ages because it's particularly made to be stronger in the Dark Ages. So what I'm going to try to do is try to play like the latest Dark Ages stage, see how we can pull this off. I think we we I think we have some good it's a good chance to to really to really make this work. But I'll see. Here we go. Again, I don't know. But it's just my opinion that we do. You know, when I play Dark Ages levels, I like to kind of kind of go all out. Um I like to bring in the freebies. I like to bring in the ice. Uh, I like to bring in the Grave Buster, the plant food. Uh, but what I really like now uh, are the Snapdragons. And I might... You know, I'm going to avoid the regular sh those regular shrooms there. I'm going to bring in this. I'm going to bring in um, the Witch Hazel, of course, which I'm going to imitate this time. Uh, because I'm gonna, I am gonna want to make sure I have the right one imitated. And then I will bring in the Snapdragons. So we are really, really going to be kind of relying on Snapdragons as well as the Witch Hazels. Uh, wish me luck, please, because we're going to need it for sure. Here we go. Ready, set, plant. I'm going to really do my best here. This is going to be very tough. Mainly because, um, you know, I know how stuff like this works. But I don't know if I can really trust it. All right, zombies are coming in. This means I'm going to just go straight for the middle there. Uh, so... All right, so this... I mean, that's as good a place as any, right? And if we can get another 200... Uh, you know, we'll be good again. Here we go. Nice. I feel like it, he transformed the totally wrong one. Oh, jeez. All right, if we can get the uh, the gold bloom pretty quick, then I'll be happy. Nice. Let's go and dig that one up. Uh, quick. All right. So far, so good with this. I think necromancy is fine, especially if it takes place way over there. All right, so, and again, this thing targets wizards. It's, it, it prefers wizards, so if I see a wizard out there, you know, I've always wondered to myself, how do I defeat the wizards? So if I happen to see a wizard, I'm gonna use a plant food on it to be sure to really strike out at it. So, yeah, this thing, yeah, just dig that up. Here we go. Nice. I mean, so far, so good. This is actually really a... Whoa, I did not mean to do that. This is actually really effective in the Dark Ages thus far from my experience. So there's a wizard. What happens if I do it? He targeted the wizard first thing. That's so great. I had to see it happen, and it happened. That was great. There you go. This is great. Man, this is just splendid in the Dark Ages. It really is. Uh-oh. Get him. Oh, he already got him. He already got him. He already got him. Nice. 
I love it. I mean, like, when you start having a bunch of these out here, it is quick. I don't know who he got. He didn't seem to get anybody there. All right, we're just kind of waiting. This is good, we're getting it. I mean, this is so effective. I can't believe how effective this is for this particular Dark Ages. I'm really glad to have gotten this plant specifically for the Dark Ages, to be honest. This place is crazy. Turn them in, nice, nice. Whoa, they all got bumped up. Holy cow. No, thank you. Necromancy, the totally wrong time for this. This is so not good. There you go, transform someone into whatever. Holy cow. All right, I think they ate through a lot of them, unfortunately, since the necromancy really pushed them up. Nice, we're, we're getting rid of these wizards. Really my favorite part is that they target the wizards. Those were always hard for me. All right, fantastic. Necromancy again, come on. Bong. I don't even know what that sound means exactly, but so far, I mean, night 16, we're doing so well on with this. So this is good. I'm really happy about it. You can probably tell. Here we go. Man, okay, so yeah, this is really good. I'm, I'm really happy with the way this is premium plants are working in Dark Ages. It's almost working like magic. It's directly targeting the wizards, which is a godsend. Something that, like, I've always wanted a way to be able to take out the wizards first. Usually when I do, I just use like a cherry bomb or a grape shot or whatever. But now we have a plant that's actually on the field that can actually do that. Also replace some of these guys with mushrooms, which is a huge stalling tactic. It's almost better than blowing them up and making them disappear because the mushrooms they have to eat through. And yes, I understand the gestures come through and they are they are devastating at times, but wow, that was awesome. Holy cow. I do wanna thank you guys so much for every single like and favorite on this video and this series. The first episode of the series surpassed 10 million views. All thanks to you guys leaving thousands and thousands of likes, over 50,000 likes, I really appreciate it. Uh, we should bring him in one more. You know, I like, I like bringing him, bringing him around, testing the waters in various places. We should bring him in one more. Her, which Hazel, I mean her. Um, so let's see where we are. Um, I'm really curious about the Neon Mixtape Tour because when I showcase a bunch of these, I don't often go to the Neon Mixtape Tour, uh, but I'm really curious how it's gonna work, especially with the concept that I can time warp back. Um, again, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be the best, but we're gonna, we're gonna bring her in, see what happens. Um, let, let us see, 28, here we go. All right, we're in the Neon Mixtape Tour, and uh, I got my lineup here. I have the Power Lily, because I wanna, you know, I have the Time Warp, the Power Lily, I have two of these Witch Hazels. Let's rock with it. I brought in, brought in the Power Lily, so I can maybe use the, uh, the Time Warp uh, more than once. But basically my goal here is gonna be just to take it a little bit slow, uh, but I do have, you know, the Witch Hazel imitated, so we'll, we'll be able to rush him out a little bit quicker than than anything else, but I have Cold Snapdragon to do the main base of attacks. I don't know if that's a good plan or not, but I'm gonna try to make it my plan. So let's just see what needs to happen here, because there's a lot that needs to happen. Especially when it comes to, uh, you know, me having a lot of sun. That could be useful, right? There we go, transformed him into, right before he started his song too, so cool. All right, and so we're just basically saving up. You know, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna need to do, but I think that we got the right idea by going in here with this. All right, now we have some arcade sounds coming in. I don't plan on using the time warp quite yet, but we'll see what happens. 
Oh yeah, here we go. Transformed him. We have this guy ready to go. More plant food, or, or more of these, please. All right, so like I said, I think that, that we're on a pretty good start right now. Again, I don't know if this is the best thing in the world, but you know, having the grape shot right here is a great thing. Take everything out, my friends. We're gonna be able to play some more, uh, some more of these uh, witch hazels very soon. There we go. There's one. Dig this one up. I want my my. Cold Snapdragons to be there. You know, I haven't had to use the Time Warp yet, but maybe I will. I just don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try to just beat these guys without using a Time Warp. But if, I, if, it, if it gets dangerous, then it's only 75 to kind of revert everyone back super quick. Especially when I have these Grape Shots all around already. We should be fine, I would think. I would hope. Another Witch Hazel, keep transforming these guys. Nice. Well, here we go. I mean, so far, I think I've held up remarkably well with this Witch Hazel in these stages. It must be a pretty good plant, especially if you can make it more well-rounded. It got one gems. So let's see how we can do. I, I hope that I'm turning enough people into uh, mushrooms. But here, that's important. All right, so this is the final wave coming up. We have some really, really bonkers stuff happening on the screen right now. But there we go. Watch out. Oh boy, is it time to revert it back yet? With the time warp, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it, but who knows. I could just be underestimating. Nah, I think I'm fine, here we go. We got them all. Time warp, just to celebrate. It's almost like a party time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next time for some more Plants vs. Zombies 2. We have a lot of uh, Pinata Party events coming out very, very soon. I was, I'm, I was pleased to showcase the Witch Hazel to you guys. It's a brand new premium plant. In the US, I think it was $7.99. I could be wrong, it could be $6.99, but it was a little on the price you're in, but I definitely see how useful uh, this plant can be, especially on the Dark Ages, and especially the uh, the ages that we were just on. I forget, what were they? Uh, neon Mixtape Tour, so yes. I'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting this channel. Goodbye.